So now that we've rasterized our layer and resized the image so it fills the space, we're going to open our rulers. If we haven't already done so, our rulers are uh, at the top and, and the, the left side. Um, the keyboard shortcut to open those is Command-R. Uh, if you tap Command-R and your ruler goes away, tap Command-R again and it'll come back. <clears throat> so we are going to first make this top left corner our zero axis, if it isn't already. And then we are going to drag out our uh, a vertical or a horizontal ruler to eight and a half inches. So we are bisecting this, um, this file. So it's 17 inches and half of 17 is eight and a half. So we're bisecting it. Um, and then we will use our rectangular marquee tool to drag out a marquee along the right hand side portion of the image starting at the ruler, dragging down to the right. Once you've lassoed, tap the delete key. That will delete the right half, half and it'll delete the right half of the image um, of your texture. And then once it's gone, go ahead and do Command D to deselect your ants, okay? Then reselect your move tool. Next, we're going to duplicate the layer, which the keyboard shortcut for that is Command J. So now we should have two layers here in our layers palette, texture one copy and texture one. Now we're going to transform that layer. So command T is the keyboard shortcut for transform. Then we're going to flip. So holding control, we're going to flip that layer horizontally and then press enter to lock that transformation into place. Okay, so now you should have two identical um, identical layers. Let's get rid of this ruler now because we no longer need it. So we'll go to view, clear guides, and that reveals a little bit of a split here in the middle. So we just want to make sure that our gaps are closed up. So there are no gaps um, in our texture, otherwise that will stay there as we move on in the project. So you can use your your little arrow tools to nudge those. Okay, so let's go ahead and Command S to save our file. Now we're going to select both texture layers and merge them together. So, holding Shift, I will select the other layer at the top, and then Command E will merge those layers together. Okay, now we're going to create a new blank layer underneath our newly merged texture layer. So in the bottom of our layers palette, here is our new blank layer button. Go ahead and single click that. We're going to hide the texture one copy layer. Uh, no, we don't have to do that. You don't have to hide it. We're going to double click the fill color box in the toolbar. So over here on the left side at the bottom of our toolbox, this left hand side box is the foreground color. Um, and in here, in your color picker, down here, we are going to type in this, this number, A, D, 9, C, 7, 8. It should be a sandy beige color, like this, okay? Once that's typed in, uh, go ahead and click OK. Now, while selected on layer 1, we are going to select our paint bucket and then clicking, single clicking in the center of our workspace, we're going to fill that space with our sandy beige color, okay? Moving back up to our toolbar, reselect your move tool so that we have the move tool to work with. And then go ahead and click Command S and start on tutorial number three.